Greetings on Ayurveda Day. Ayurveda literally means the knowledge of life. It originated in India more than 3,000 years ago. An Ayurveda lifestyle is based on the circadian rhythm and is in harmony with surrounding nature. What is more, it is evidence-based. Ayurveda is also beyond geographical, cultural and religious boundaries. Truly, it is the green way of life. According to Ayurveda, disease is due to an imbalance in the body, mind, consciousness and the environment. Ayurvedic treatment therefore aims at nullifying or minimizing the causes of the imbalance through lifestyle interventions and natural therapies. What is the relevance of Ayurveda in contemporary times? Ayurveda practitioners continue to revalidate its ancient principles and their contemporary applications by conducting research per globally accepted methods and parameters. Every year, almost 5,000 research studies are conducted, which are duly registered at the Clinical Trials Registry, a Government of India initiative. The outcomes of these studies are published as high-impact research papers in peer-reviewed international scientific journals. The Ministry of Ayush Government of India has also configured a web-based Ayush research portal on which more than 20,000 research abstracts have been uploaded as material for ready reference by scientists and researchers in Ayurveda and other traditional systems of medicine. As for the standardization and testing of medicines, this is being implemented by the Government of India through the Pharmacopoeia Commission of Indian Medicine and Homeopathy set up by the Ministry of Ayush. The Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia Committee of this commission prescribes standards for single drugs and compound formulations for manufacturers of Ayurvedic medicines. It is interesting to know that quality standards of 645 single drugs and 202 Ayurvedic formulations have been laid down in the Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India. I will also add that Ayurveda is listed as one of the globally popular systems of traditional medicine in the World Health Organization's World Traditional Medicine Strategy 2014 to 2023. Lest you think that international collaboration in the area of Ayurveda and Ayush systems is limited to the WHO, let me say that the National Center for Natural Products Research, University of Mississippi, the Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital, Boston, the European Academy of Ayurveda, Berstein, Germany, and the Frankfurt Innovations Biotechnology Center have expressed their willingness to undertake collaborative research with the Government of India on COVID-19. Against this indeed impressive backdrop, I am very pleased that today we have three prominent speakers from Bhutan in India who have core knowledge of Ayurveda. Do join us on Facebook Live today as they speak to this great and glorious tradition of India at 12.30 hours, Bhutan Standard Time. Thank you.